Welcome to this introduction of live text for Bryman University students. By now you should have already registered your account. So what we're going to look at here is the functionality for you as you go about your education and nursing courses. Since you've already registered and created your individual account, we go right to the login. Now, to get to the login, you can either come directly to livetext.com or you can go through your Blackboard shell. In education, you will find the link to get to Live Text through SIG assignment. There'll be plenty of information built into the shell to explain this to you. But basically, SIG assignment will either immediately open a new window or give you a link to open a new window. For nursing, your shell is slightly different, but it works about the same. So you will come to the live text site. And again, you've already created your individual account. You've already registered, purchased through the bookstore, and then registered. So you will come to live text, and across from the green login button, input your username. And I have several accounts here, so. And then you will input your password click login. You will always land immediately on the dashboard. Now, the dashboard is beautifully designed. There is a color code that is consistent throughout. You notice the first two assignments you see here are green. What does that mean? It's already been submitted by you, your instructor has graded it, and now you can view the assessment. You click on the button, and everything is all in one lovely place. Again, notice the nice green color. This color code is important. Green means it's all been completed. There is the artifact that you uploaded. All right, so you always can see it again. It doesn't go away. Here is the grade that you earned. Next to that are any comments your professor may have given you. Now, what does this grade mean? Well, here's part of the beauty of live text. Right here, view rubric scores. The rubric by which this assignment was assessed is built in. This is a dummy rubric, an actual rubric. All of these cells would be filled in with what was a two, what was a three, what was a four. What would that look like to have earned those points? Over on the left of your rubric is where the individual criterion lives. Okay, these are the specific that represent what each point would be, but over here is the base criterion. So for the introduction for this paper, a one was this, a two would be this, a three, all right, you got that, but notice where it's blue. Where it's dark blue, that is the cell that your instructor clicked to award you those points for this work. So for introduction, this student earned the four. And again, there will be content in here. If you see the little blue, looks like a cartoony dialog box, click it and there will be a specific comment from your instructor. So immediate feedback is built in right here for you relating directly to this. Got it? We have the opportunity now to make it very easy for you to get personalized specific feedback bit by bit throughout your key assignments. Okay, now you see the total here, you earned 12 points. So let's go back and look. There it is, there's your 12 points. Now this instructor, when they were correcting, assessing this work, they looks like they did some editing on it because they've also attached a secondary copy of it. This copy, if there is something here, it means for whatever reason, they did some editing, they put some notes on there, your professor wanted you to have this version. All right, so if there is an attachment here, assessor's attachments, it means your professor did some work and wanted you specifically to see it. So all of that is here. It's green, it's completed. But back on the dashboard, you not only have green, look, you've completed two assignments, you also have red. Red means this is due. Now there may be a date here, the specific date it's due, 
There may not be. Don't let that throw you. All of that information will be shared by your instructor in your Blackboard shell. Red means submit assignment. How do you submit an assignment? Click on the red button. And this is so beautifully designed. I can't even begin to tell you. Look, it's still red. Tells you it has not yet been submitted. This is where you will actually upload your work to turn into your professor. But here is one place that you could make a hiccup. All right? Pay attention. It will make sense. The default is to upload, submit, a live text document. Now, the School of Nursing is initially using many more live text documents than School of Ed. A live text document is an actual document, look up here, documents, that was built inside live text. So it's a template that you've pulled down and worked on while online, something of that ilk. Maybe it's a student teaching form that both you and your student teaching supervisor have filled out together. It is not something built outside of live text like a doc or a PDF. It is literally a document built inside live text. For those, you would indeed simply click Insert Documents, and you would link to whatever document you've been working on. But for most people, for most people, specifically in School of Ed, most signature assignments are things like a paper or a, a PowerPoint presentation. Those are file attachments. Got it? If you've built it with an outside word processor or a PowerPoint, those are not live text documents. Those are file attachments. You need to click to go in and upload your new file. All right, don't pay attention down here, stuff I've been playing with already. You will come in and this will be absolutely empty. To upload the file that you will then submit to your professor, you simply click Upload New File, and this should look very familiar. Anyone who's ever attached a picture to send with an email, it's the same process. You will browse to find it, select whatever it is, and here you get this great status bar that lets you know, hang on, I'm in the process of uploading. Look, there it is. It's been completed, and there it is. That's what I am about to send to my professor. Now, what if I realize, oh, I, I selected the wrong thing, my kids were screaming, my dog was barking, I selected the wrong paper. No worries. You can simply remove and start the process over again. But if this is the correct artifact you want to submit, great, here we go. You can write a note for your professor. Dear professor, I worked really hard on this, and by the way, I think you're brilliant. Okay, whatever you want to send to your professor, and then are you done? No. Why not? Well, notice it's still red. Red means it has not yet been submitted. Now, here's a safety net. What if you've uploaded your paper and you're, you're second-guessing yourself? I need to look at the rubric one more time. I'm not completely sure this is ready to go. Or the doorbell rings. The phone rings. You have to run away for a second. If you lose this page, let's say your kids jump on and they go to catinthehat.com, no panic, no worry. When you come back to the dashboard, this will still be sitting here. It hasn't gone to the professor yet. It's holding it for you to complete the submission. But let's be clear. Until this turns yellow, and you'll see that in a minute, remember our color code, until this turns yellow, it has not been submitted. So I have attached my file. There it is. I have put a note for my professor. Here we go. Click red, submit assignment. I get this lovely progress information, and boom, it's turned yellow. It even tells me exactly when I've submitted it, and there is what I've submitted. Notice there's a nice message here, awaiting assessment. Your grade and or assessment results have not yet been released. You have completed your portion of this whole process. Seriously, that's it. You've uploaded and submitted. Okay, one more time I look. Oh, you know what? I can't believe it. That's the wrong paper. That's the wrong version. No worries. You can retract right there, and you'll go through the submission process again. 
There's the note I wrote for my professor. Let me go back to my dashboard. There it is. Now what was red is yellow. And if you're seriously type A, like me, drink way too much coffee, you want to check one more time, you can always click on the yellow button again. And yep, I did. I submitted the correct paper. Whew, I'm done. That's literally as complicated as it is for you, the student. I do want to point out just a couple little things. All the different courses will be listed here under courses, or you can always get them off the tab directly next to the dashboard. There's an awful lot more here. There's more functionality. Here's the visitor's pass for in the future if you upload into your documents right there or through your file manager. If you decide to upload more professional resources such as your resume, your CV, a scan copy of a credential, any professional papers you want to share with a promotion board or you're trying for another credential, a different possible job, anything that you in the future would want to apply for, you can do a visitor's pass. Instead of simply sending an email, you can send a direct link out where you can add your own message and then whoever that is, the credentialing board, the principal of another school, the head of the hospital, the head of the program, whomever you want to send that information to will receive a very professional looking link that says Jane Doe has submitted the following documentation to you please click here to retrieve it. It is such a powerful feature because you as you know are going out into the workforce and there are a lot of other people trying for the same position. This immediately going this way as opposed to just sending out an email makes you look that much more professional and organized. Those of you who've attended the live trainings have heard me say this. When we were first looking at live text and I mentioned it to two very different people, one in business, one in education, one the principal of a Santa Monica high school. They both independently of each other said, wow, that is so great because right now when we post a job, we are most impressed and the applications we look at first are the ones that come from some kind of professional repository rather than just an email. Right off the bat, you're putting forward a very clean, professional, organized face to whomever you're submitting to. That literally is as complicated as it gets. Again, look for your color code. You can replay this video. If it's red, you still need to submit it. You have not completed the submission process until it turns yellow. Once it's yellow, you've done your job and you need to wait until your professor grades it and then it will turn green. If you have any questions, there is the student FAQ. You can email support at livetext.com as well there will be more resources available to you on the new Brandman website for the Center for Instructional Innovation. Brandman.edu slash CII, Center for Instructional Innovation. You see there is a specific area for students and in that area we are posting resources. There's the video to reg if you need help registering with Live Text, which you should have already done if you're listening to this video. Uh, here is a PDF of how to use everything I just walked you through. Here's a PDF. And for those of you who do want to come to other kinds of future training that we have, live synchronous training, here is a video to help you find the place where we do our live synchronous training. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, again, you can go directly to Live Text, or you can email us here at the Center for Instructional Innovation. Thank you so much.